Good morning, everyone. Bike week continues. I'm gonna take old Bud Lightning, the Harley. Uh, gonna check out a few different areas than the downtown main drag. Got a couple tips from Bob and Tam about uh, a couple other places that are doing some fun stuff. So we're gonna start our day here at the Cabbage Patch, I believe it's called. We can go see if it doesn't work out. We'll try something different. We'll probably be all over today, actually, but uh, gonna have some fun with Bike Week on a bike. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below for unlimited high-speed internet, and uh, you can get 10% off your discount to get the Nomad Air, which is how I upload all of my videos. You know how it goes. Let's ride. just got parked in here and once again it's another biker party here with booths all the way around food alcohol they've got a, ba a free band tonight confederate railroad is playing tonight at 7 p.m here the cabbage patch and then there's another rv rally on the other side of the highway there that we can just walk over to so let's check it out all right first things first i ain't no dummy look for the giant bottle of beer let's go grab us a bud light over here not gonna overdo it or anything today. I do have to ride back, but uh, let's check out some booths. So it's early yet, but we already got live music. Awesome. I got used saddlebags for 69 bucks, all different kinds and sizes. They've got lots and lots of different helmets to choose from. The chrome ones are kind of weird, kind of different. There's cowboy hats back there. Really a little bit of everything here. Yeah. Plus the other cool thing about these rallies is it's pretty much a bike show. Like literally you get to look at all these really, really unique looking bikes. And I mean, what in the actual, <laughs> holy cow, that is awesome. <laughs> Powered by Jack Daniels. That's something else. They do uh, quick oil changes here in less than 15 minutes. They'll give you an oil change here right at the rally. I'm up to date on both bikes, actually. There's even a station here making custom seats out of leather. I don't know how much these guys are charging, but they're doing underglow lighting for bikes here at the rally. I bet it's pretty expensive, but they're doing them today. It's pretty cool. All right, we've made it full circle. Right back to the giant Budweiser bottle there. Uh, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then maybe we'll go across the street. Let's go back over to the other corner where the food's at. All right, we got pizza, uh, cheese steaks and sausage. We've got sirloin tip steaks. Mm. Two more, I love the tiny house. Uh, pulled pork barbecue and ribs, chicken breast, that sounds good. And then Bubba's got, uh, looks like bacon, mac and cheese. Lots of bacon. Uh, I'm gonna go back for the heartburn special and get some pizza. All right, nothing spectacular, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Pretty disappointed in that pizza, guys. I love pizza. That was probably the worst slice of pizza I've had in five years. Very underwhelming. last outdoors today but we got more uh, LED lights being installed here at this booth looks like they're ready to ride some bikes in that sphere So there's 
lots to see out here. Nothing I absolutely have to have for Bud Lightning, but I will say that this custom pinstriping really intrigues me. Like, Black Betty really, really needs some custom pinstriping. Yeah. Isn't that cool? They change all That's awesome. But I don't have my black bike with me, so... I'll have to come back. I'll have to bring Black Betty one year. Cool thing is, you bring your bike here, you can get it worked on. Here's Vance and Hines. They got all the big companies, Pythons here too, to put exhaust on your bike while you're here. The crowds are crazy, the sun is intense, and the beer's cold. Uh, they got seats that you can try out. You can put it on your bike and test it out here. See if you like the seats. Then uh, Drag Specialty is here. I'm just looking at some of their uh, smaller fairings here. In fact, this blue one over here looks like Bud Lightning, and you can see the size. Like, wouldn't something like that look good with the ape hangers on top like that? I don't know. I like that. Sounds like they're putting stereos in bikes over here. Look at all that. Wow. They're demoing one over here. Black Betty, my soft tail slim, has a bumping stereo system, uh, modified auto, but he's Dalton put that one in. They're really good at putting radios in bikes. Loud. All right, let's go finish these last one, two, at least three rows, and then we can then we can sit down, listen to some music, and relax. See if there's anything I gotta have. So I just took a peek at this biker bar. Something new, right? Well, so you probably can't see the screen. No, it's doing that weird flicker thing. Anyway, uh, it's a strapless system for securing your motorcycle. Uh, this mounts to the deck. Then this mounts to the bike, but it's also temporary. So that you just drive your bike. Oh, maybe he's gonna demonstrate it here. Let's see. Yeah, so he just backed up off it there. So that bar just clamps on like a, like a bench bike. So that handle clamp right to your frame. You ready to go ride? You just back that handle out, and the whole unit falls off. The bar falls off the bike. Huh. Well, that's cool. So he said it's rated for 90 mile an hour touring in the trailer or on the deck or whatever you're man that's so much better than having the straps and worrying that the straps are going to break and you got to tighten them up 384 dollars for this system guess what not compatible with a dyno wide glide or a soft tail slim it's currently for touring models only that have the bars underneath in a certain way of course of course that was it didn't see anything that i absolutely had to have so now we can go to live music over here at Saints and Sinners. We got a cheeseburger mobile trailer here. At least they have it covered for this event. Yeah, and I hear live music. Let's go get a beer. Nice. Daytona Bike Week. Moving on. Well, moving on from Daytona, we're gonna go down south and do some more Bike Week down south in Titusville. Gotta get back to the RV and pack everything up though. All right, so a couple things. I just got back from a ride actually without bringing a camera. And usually that's when some of the cool stuff happens. I didn't bring this. I did bring my leather jacket and uh, got it fixed, finally. I've actually had this leather jacket since I got Black Betty, my other Harley, and I had them remove the soft tail patch from right here and we got three new patches on this is brand new i just got the loud pipe save lives today here at bike week these two i've been carrying around for for a little while the is it is what it is is a is a used patch and whoever smelt it dealt it <laughs> along with the harley one patch on the other side there so this is the new setup uh I just think it looks a lot better. And, and I've been wanting to do this and they did it for 20 bucks in less than 20 minutes. They removed this and put the through and the three new ones on. It's awesome. I got so many compliments about my jacket also. Let me flip it over. 
This patch right here, if you're a Harley person, you know, because you're gonna count the talons right there. There are accidentally four talons on each claw. That's a mistake by Harley. This patch is from uh, 1982. And if you guys remember, a couple years ago, I got this at a swap meet, this patch for 20 bucks. It goes on eBay between four and $500. It's a very rare Harley patch. Harley does not make their own patches like this anymore. They have another company do the new ones. So it's a very rare, very collectible, very unique uh, patch here. And I got a lot of compliments from Harley people who recognize right away when they count the four gray talons on each paw. Claw? Yeah, each claw. So, yep, good to go. Uh, alternatively, what's going on is, well, I do need to start packing up, but I'm going to take one more ride out to Main Street there in Daytona Beach. And again, not film. I just want to experience it without a camera for myself and see if I can make some memories tonight. It's my last ride here at Daytona Beach because I'm going to pack everything up. We're going to load the bike back onto the tandem tow trailer. The car will be on the dolly back there. We're gonna head to Titusville one more time to check in on a few friends and say goodbye to Florida in this video. So stay tuned, be back to you in the morning when we're all hooked up. Good morning, kitties. <laughs> you know what time it is. We gotta roll out Opie and Tara. You guys snuggling this morning? Yeah, we gotta roll out Ter Ter. Opie Dopies, you ready to go? Yeah, we're gonna leave Daytona, kitties. And leave bike weeks. All right, you guys go ahead and get your last cuddles and I'll make some coffee and we'll get out of here. <laughs> All right, uh, back here in Titusville, the Space Coast area here at a friend's house doing some uh, street parking boondocking right now. You actually can't even hear it, but the air conditioner is running right now off solar which is awesome, right? Quiet, no generator use. But um, I'm gonna have a very, very big update here at the end of this video, so don't miss it. Yeah. In the, in the meantime, I'm gonna leave the kitties with the air conditioning and go have lunch with some friends. All right, Robert says this is the place to be. Burger Rob's Smash Burgers. I don't know if the, I don't even know if they have tater tots, so we're gonna try it out. All right, we got an order in, hanging out with Robert and Diana, and uh, we're gonna eat some burgers. All right, well, I got the bacon cheese burger there. Uh huh. Diana and Robert are sharing a burg there. What's on it? Everything? Everything Extras? Everything. Yeah, all those decorations. Okay. Look at all that. Look at all that. Mmm. Uh, throw it on the ground. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hey. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Yes. <laughs> so the owner of the place just uh, brought us back. We were asking about their hot dogs because their burgers are ridiculous. That's a, a foot long uh, Nathan's there with cheese and their homemade chili. So queso and chili right here made in house. Jeez. Checks out. It's so weird with the mini. Looks like a decoration to me, but okay. All right. Now, are we uh, ready to leave Florida? I think so. Uh, it, it's been an incredible winter. Uh, I've said goodbye to all my friends and old and new. I'll be seeing some of them later, especially Robert. I'll probably see him next month up in Kansas City. And uh, for now, the biggest thing that I wanted to share with you is that, as you can see, Tater Tot is being flat towed behind the RV like normal. And uh, continuing forward, I love Bud Lightning, my motorcycle. It's been awesome riding a bike in Florida this winter. I got exactly what I needed. But now we're gonna go back to what I'm more comfortable with and the way I wanna travel. Um, Robert is gonna be taking Bud Lightning and the tandem tow trailer. He will be transporting that all the way back to his place in Kansas City. So we will see Bud Lightning again, but we will also see my other black Harley, Black Betty later this year. And um, I'm only gonna keep one bike, guys. Just letting you know, it's been awesome. But it is time to get out of Florida. So I hope you have a great weekend. Bike week is wrapping up and uh, I'm gonna get on the road, guys. So thanks for joining me. By the way, if you're looking for some mobile RV type of work, definitely check out King's Mobile RV Repair. I will put his info in the description below. Give him a call if you're within about 100 miles of Kansas City, starting about April 1st-ish. Get some stuff done. Gotta have a buddy Robert, right? All right, we'll see you guys on Monday. Whoop.